A man don't eat, then he gon' starve. A man gon' starve and he gon' die. I know that they gon' try. That's why I stay strapped with a brand new Mac and it's four five. So when they jump fast, blow the whistle like offside. Cause I'm from Philly, we ain't eat your cheese steak. I told Diddy I ain't walking for no cheesecake. Cause the jeweler making the bed with the freeze face. I'm on now, I got niggas like a free state. been competing for nine years. He is the current Philadelphia kickboxing champion, WKA US amateur champion and USKBA international professional champ, so he's a well-decorated athlete getting ready to do battle here at Battle at the Base. time we saw Christian was at the inaugural C-Max tournament won by Trevor TNT Spandich. He fought a Mexican, put up a valiant effort, but lost a close decision. So it's going to be Christian and Ibrahim, and they embrace showing some sportsmanship as they prepare to do battle here at the Sun Center in Calgary. And now let's take a closer look at these two athletes. Christian is 19 years of age, 142 pounds, with a record of eight victories, four setbacks, two knockouts. He's coached by Crew Perez Tayab at Gold Lions Muay Thai in Vancouver. Ibrahim is 21, 142 pounds, a tremendous record, in fact. 11 wins, only two losses, three knockouts. And he's coached by Mr. Azzy Nibe from Sitan Gym in Queens, New York, USA. Ibrahim has given up a ton of height in this fight card. He is going to have to either get on the inside right away and try to rip him apart, or at least go hard to the legs and see how that works out for him. The minute of Dynamo Ibrahim taking on the taller Christian. Christian, as we mentioned, we saw him at the C-Max tournament. He'd been ill in the week leading up to the event, but proved to be every bit professional. Still taking the bout, and uh, while he lost it, he did uh, impress many people, and in fact was invited to appear on this card okay, against Rami the Arabian Nightmare Ibrahim. And he looks like he's in a little better shape than he was at C-Max. I'll Just tell you right Christian. now, I think we'll see something completely different out of Christian this time. I think he'll be ready for this fight. I think he'll take it to Ibrahim. It should be a good fight, but I can't imagine how Ibrahim's going to win against his height this event. And this bout is being fought under modified Muay Thai rules, meaning no elbow attacks, no knee attacks to the head, and no attacks to the joints. He's doing a good job in the clinch right here of getting as many knees off as he can. Right now, Daniel Christian's got height advantage on the clinch. I don't know why he is anchoring him down to the ground a little more and using his knees against him. Of course, Christian will look to exploit that reach advantage. Not really gauging any distance here at this time. Both fighters going through a typical feeling out process that we see in Muay Thai, the opening round of Muay Thai. Ibrahim with that cut kick. Christian going straight ahead, but being met by punches on the way in and just pushes Ibrahim to the mat. Referee Rack calls for the break. Two fighters are in the center of the ring now. Definite feeling out process. And you hear the music in the background, Keith, and again, those viewers who may be watching Muay Thai for the first time, you might want to shed some light on why we're hearing that traditional Thai music in the background. The traditional Thai music is some of the music what they what they use to gauge and actually to, to, to gauge the uh, intensity of the fights, as you can see. What will happen is as you hear the rounds go on, you'll hear the music actually go up in tempo, and a lot of the fighters, certainly in Thailand, use that music as basically a tempo setter for the fight itself. Well, we always have uh, stated that Muay Thai, of course, is sport. It's a form of martial skill, the king of science, and undeniably an art form. And we're seeing a modified Muay Thai matchup here between Christian and Ibrahim. The opening round, as Ibrahim looking to work his way to the inside, met by a high roundhouse, misses there, and Ibrahim misses with a spinning back kick. You know something, I'm amazed at the fact that Christian isn't taking more advantage over the height that he has over Ibrahim. He's letting Ibrahim walk in without getting shots on the way in. It's, just, it's amazing to watch, really. Right now, he should be throwing a jab at his teeth out here. Ibrahim misses with a looping left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this opening round. Christian trying to pick up the pace now in the dying seconds of this opening three minutes of action. There is the end of the opening round, Keith. 
Go to the replay here. A nice high roundhouse kick by Christian Reed on the head, and Ibrahim comes back with a spinning back kick. You're watching Battle of the Base on TSN. Time for round number two between American Rami, the Arabian Nightmare, Ibrahim, Canadian Daniel Killer Christian. No freebies for him. You can hear uh, Ibrahim's trainer yelling out, no freebies, make him earn his scoring points. You know, now Chris is using his jab. He's using his jab in the front house and it's a lot more. And keeping that distance, he could take him apart from the outside if he wanted to, and he's just not doing it right now. Again, okay. getting to the second round here, it looks like he's going to come out with that, that technique, which, in my opinion, is the excellent way to win this fight. An inverted low blow there delivered by Christian. Ibrahim takes a moment to recover. Action resumes. Yeah. Nice low kick by Christian. Yeah. Ibrahim misses. Yeah. With his comeback, yeah. a cheap now by Christian. Yeah. Christian now going to work with the kicks, but Ibrahim manages to work his way to the inside, oh. and that combination puts Christian on the canvas. Holy mackerel, it happened so quickly, I'm not even sure what he hit him with. It looked like a hook at the very end there, but Christian is almost out on his feet. I'm not sure if he's going to make the belt. Daniel, breathe! Breathe, breathe! Push kick! Christian was rocked by that combination in close by Ibrahim, and now Ibrahim smells blood and back to work to the body, and now he puts Christian to the canvas again. That was more of a push than a knockdown. But Christian is on his heels here early in round number two, Keith. You know, I think we're finding out right now that uh, Ibrahim maybe should be called the killer instead of the Arabian Nightmare because Ibrahim came out ready for blood right there, but now he seems to have settled down again. Tags him with that right hand. Oh. Both of them have the same idea there with the kicks. Another ball kick executed by Christian. Ibrahim now just looking to set up. There's a nice knee by Christian, but oh. no, he's hit with that devastating left hand. So obviously, the Arabian Nightmare possesses all kinds of power in those punches, and Christian is knocked down for the second time here in round number two. He must have unbelievable power. He threw that hook off his back foot as he was backing up and able to knock Christian down. And right now, Christian, I don't think he's even sure where he is right now. He must have incredible power, and now he's going right back to it. And, and that's the third again. knockdown, and this fight should be over. Brack, you know, I agree with you. He Tim York did York. not rule that a knockdown. You know, he did Boom. rule it a knockdown, and I believe you. I b agree 100% more. It should have been ruled a knockdown. Looked like it was another scoring blow, and if that would have been the case, that would have spelled the end for Daniel Killer Christian. Three knockdowns in a round. That one time, he just falls to his back coming out of the clinch, but uh, you can see that there's panic now setting in for Daniel Killer Christian, knowing that he's already been knocked down twice and uh, oh. weary of taking another shot just like that. Well, this fight's over now. That's three knockdowns definitely in the round. This fight has to be over. I'll tell you right now, when he finished this eight count, he will stop this fight. Christian will not be allowed to continue. It is over. So, in scintillating fashion here in round number two, Rami, the Arabian nightmare, Ibrahim proving to be a nightmare for the Canadian, putting him on the canvas three times, en route to the victory here at XFC's Battle at the Base. Very impressive showing by the native of Queens, New York. I'll tell you something, when I was fighting, my coach, John Mike Miles, used to always tell me, don't judge a guy by what he looks like. Dang, the Arabian Nightmare, excuse me, doesn't look like he would possess the type of power that he does, but obviously he's got an unbelievable hook. Ibrahim spelled victory, T-K-O.